Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. So in this one we are going to be installing um, Havoc OS or if you already installed Havoc OS and you want to update it's actually the same procedure because this new update Yeah, so this new update, as you can see here, update build fingerprint. And what that means is it's using the uh, latest stock ROM. So we will need to flash stock ROM before we flash Havoc, basically. So sorry to interrupt there. This is uh, me from the future. So basically, if you are already on Havoc OS, and you want to basically like back up all your apps and all that kind of good stuff without needing to reinstall them again. Um, you can follow this along here. Now, if you're installing have a quest for the first time, you can skip this part. I'll put a time or whatever that you can skip to. So you can actually do a TWRP backup to restore the data and your phone will end up being like pretty much exactly like you left it so i actually flashed the new havoc update here and um did a data restore into wp and everything's working fine so i'll show you guys how to do that now first thing you want to do inside the settings is get rid of the lock screen and all that kind of stuff because it might interfere and you also want to remove all of your accounts as well and then what you want to do is reboot to recovery uh, you should have T -T TWRP already installed since that's what we used to install Havoc the first time so anyway once you're in the recovery go to backup and only select data and then swipe to backup so it'll take a while because if you have like a lot of apps and stuff, it'll be a few, it's like around 10 gigabytes or so. I don't know this day. Oh no, it's uh, six, six gigabytes. So that's not too bad. So once that's done, what you want to do is reboot. And then you want to copy the TWRP folder to your PC. This is because we'll be formatting the data, so everything on your phone will be deleted. All right, so once you're in, connect your phone to your PC. File transfer. And so, let's see here, open up in uh, Windows Explorer, or whatever it is. And so what I want to do is actually copy this whole TWRP folder since it has our backups in it and copy it over to somewhere nice. So I have like an entire like folder structure here backup from an old uh, Havoc installation. And um, so just copy over the TWRP folder and then you can just continue the guide as normal and at the end I will show you how to restore. Now I made a video on how to flash stock ROM using TWRP. Uh, this will be public by the time this this video that I'm making now is listed so make sure you watch this because I show you how to set up like a bunch of stuff and all that kind of stuff where we download the TWRP and all that kind of good stuff so watch this before uh, you watch this video basically <laughs> so anyway once you are finished watching that video you should be fully on the latest stock version so then we can download the ROM here so click this link it will go here and I'm going to be using the gaps version so this basically means that gaps is pre-installed inside the ROM so you can use this one, but you will have to flash gaps separately. So I just recommend using this one. It's uh, basically faster. <laughs> so once you downloaded that here, 
or wherever, copy it into your platform tools here. So this is like the same folder that we used in the last video and open up PowerShell. So hold down shift, press right click and open PowerShell window here. And uh, make sure your phone is already in fast boot mode. So you can do that by turning off your phone and then holding down the power button and volume up key at the same time. This will get you into fast boot mode. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> we'll move all that shite out of the way. All right. So once you're here, uh, make sure you use the USB cable on the side as well. What you want to do is we want to boot into TWRP. So fast boot, you can press enter or I mean tab to autocomplete file names. So boot, then we need to TWRP image, boot that. If it says your phone is not uh, here or something, um, just make sure you plug it in the USB cable properly and using the side port. So anyway, your phone should restart and reboot into TWRP. Like so. Uh, swipe to allow modifications. Then what we want to do is wipe everything. So wipe, uh, format data, press yes, or type yes, I mean. All right, go back, back. And then factory reset, great. Back, back, install, you should see nothing, which is all right. Go back to your PC here, type in ADB, tab, and then we wanna do a push. And then we wanna push the, uh, we wanna push the Havoc zip. So just type capital H and then press tab. There we go. And then we want to push it to SD card. So forward slash SD card. And then it will copy over the zip over to your phone. Now, by the way, this will, uh, delete all your data. So make sure you back up. I probably should have said that at the start, but whatever. <laughs> all right. So now that it's pushed, if you go back to your phone, you should see the zip here. So install that. Now with this version of Havoc, it already has um, TWRP like built in as its recovery. So we don't have to flash TWRP again, which is nice. So the phone is actually just about finished now. So that's great. Do a wipe cache, go back, 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 reboot, and then we want to reboot to recovery. So this should boot us back into TWRP. Oh yeah, not bad. All right, allow modifications. And right now the phone should be recognized on the computer. So open this PC. And there it is. Nice. So then just drag over Magisk if you don't want to use the ADB push. You can do ADB push as well, but this is probably a little bit faster. Uh, go back to your PC. You should have Magisk there. Um, so click install and then flash it.
All right, great. And then you can reboot the system. And this should come up as Havoc uh, install or the Android startup menu or whatever. All right, there we go. We see the Havoc logo, so that's a good sign. <laughs> All right, lovely. Now you can continue the startup here. All right, so once you have went through the setup of uh, like the initial Android setup or whatever it's called, I still don't know. Anyway, what you want to do is connect your PC to the computer again, or your phone to the computer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and um, TWRP folder that we copied earlier on for restoring the data. What you want to do is just copy it from your PC over to your phone. And uh, once that's done, so you should have your TWRP folder inside the phone. You want to reboot into recovery again. So just turn off your phone. All right, so once your phone is turned off, uh, you can hold the power button and the volume up key at the same time. So we want to get back into TWRP. So sometimes when this stupid thing comes up, your phone doesn't really restart straight away. So you just sometimes have to wait for it. And then just keep holding the power button. Yeah, there we go. And once you're here, use the volume keys to get into recovery mode. All right, so once you're here, you can go into restore and then just simply restore your phone. And then when it's done restore, just press uh, reboot system as well. Now, now it is important to copy the files, the TWRP files while you're inside Android and not TWRP. Uh, this because for some strange reason, if I copy the files, like right now, um, the restore will fail. I don't know why that happens, but I think when you copy files from while you're in TWRP onto the phone, they get corrupted or something. I don't know. So that's why you should go through the initial setup like fairly quickly and then just copy the TWRP folder there. And uh, once that's done, you can just reboot and your phone should look exact, your have a quest should look exactly like your previous version. So stuff like your Wi-Fi passwords and all that kind of stuff will be saved as well. So after that's done, all you would have to do is just copy over your like downloads folder, your camera folder, pictures, movies, and all that kind of stuff that you have. So yeah, uh, all the apps are already like there, which is pretty cool. So you don't need to use titanium backup or anything like that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy Havoc OS, the latest version and uh, thanks for watching and bye bye